departments that you made this whole story up no. about Antoine. No, really no I don't believe you one Please. bit, Charisse. Yes. You are a liar. No. You have not no. told me the truth no. all week. No, no, no. That is a fact. That is a fact. The fact is he's there and he's dead. The fact is you walked by, if you left him there in the woods behind that dumpster, you left him there, and you carried his backpack, and you left it here, and you made all this shit up to make it look like you're not a monster. You are, because you don't even have the courage to tell your son's story. Something happened to him when you were responsible for him. I don't know if he was dead when you left him or if he just left him there in the woods all alone, dying. Welcome to AMC Investigations and Happy New Year. If you are new here, we put out videos every single week, so make sure you are subscribed. Check out our library, you're sure to find something that you've never seen before, and assault that like button if consistent true crime content is your kind of thing. For early access and lots of exclusive content coming in 2024, have a look at our Patreon. We offer a free trial over there, so definitely take advantage of that. The link is below. That being said, I would like to thank all of our members. You are truly appreciated. Okay, enough rambling, let's get into it. September 2nd, 2018, Largo, Florida. A two-year-old boy by the name of Jordan Bellevu is reported missing by his mother, Cherise Stinson. Cherise told Largo police that she took a ride from a man and that man kidnapped her son. An Amber Alert was sent out and a massive search was launched. Days later, Jordan's body was found in a wooded area in Largo, Florida. Now, there were three interviews by police leading up to this one, and they will be posted for early access on our Patreon over the next few days. For those of you that would like to see how we got here, the link is below. This interview took place on September 4th, 2018, just days after Jordan was reported missing. This is the full interrogation of Sharice Stinson. Stay tuned to the end for the conclusion as always. But first, let us have a moment of silence for the victim in this case. Can you bring the mat, please? Yeah. Take a minute, okay? You just tell me when you're ready to go over some stuff, okay? I'm so sorry, Sharice. I'm so sorry. I know. I want you to just process, and I'll know you're ready to talk with me when you just sit up. And we look at each other and we talk, okay? This is this is hard on, hardest on you. You know, he was your little boy. I understand. I know you did. I know, you just, you just, you wanted, you know, Sharice, after, after being with you this week, you know, you just knew he deserved a better life. No matter what the circumstance, I understand. Okay? When you're ready, okay? When you're ready, take a deep breath. We'll sit up and we'll just talk, okay? My partner, Detective Berarder, today, okay? He's with us and we're ready and willing to talk with you when you are, okay? I have a map, okay? I can point some things out to you.
tell me when you're ready, okay? You want to look at a map here? I got a map. Someone's with Jordan Senior. He knows. We've made sure that he knew as soon as we could get to him. What's that? I didn't hear what you said, Sharice. I've been trying to get you as fast as I could. You're... It's okay. You needed a break today, okay? When I when I met you at Madison Avenue this morning, it was clear. You needed a break, you asked for a break. I tried to give you some space, you know? I told you if you want to come down and do the statement, and we just write everything out, try and help us out, and, and you change your mind, that's okay. I'm not mad at you for it. I told you I'm not gonna get mad at you for anything in this, okay? That's still the case. I'm not gonna get mad at you. It's not anybody's place here to judge you, no matter what happened, okay? And I mean that. Okay, can we sit up and we can talk? I want you to look at the map if we can, okay? I got a lot of stuff to go over with you whenever you're ready. Okay, it's been a long day. It's been a busy day. We got a lot of answers today. Okay. You're his mother. I want you to know what we've been doing. I want you to know the outcomes and stuff of you know of our work. You deserve to know. Okay. He's not your only baby, okay? You gotta you gotta calm yourself down, process the information, and we'll talk about it, okay? It'll give you some closure, I think. Want to just start and tell us what happened that night? You have to. Do you want to just tell us what was going on that night? You want to look at the map, or what do you want to do? Let's. I, I don't know exactly. Okay. I want to show you some things in the map. Is that okay? You got it. It's just a map. It's just a Google map like we've been looking at all week. Here, let me show you. Let me mark some points on here, okay? So you know what we're talking about. Can you look up and I'll mark them for you where you can see them? It's just a map. It's just a map, Sharice. Can we start there? Can we start by just... Doing something easy, looking at the map. I know, I know it's hard to function right now. What happened? 
we, we have to go through the, the map and, and some other things and whatnot. I want, I want to explain how he was found and where. Where was he? Well, let's here. Let's look at the map. Come on. Okay. So, you see Culver's marked? Mm-hmm. In the apartments. Okay. <coughs> the apartment's right here by Culver's, okay? Mm-hmm. Like right there, about. Okay? Mm-hmm. And... Here are the Lafayette apartments. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yesterday we talked about it where we found this backpack. Mm -hmm. It is right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the picture I showed you yesterday. Mm -hmm. George Jr.'s body is found right here on Lake Avenue in the woods at the sports complex behind a fenced in dumpster. He was in the water. Uh, it wasn't deep water. It was pretty shallow in a wooded area. There's a little path that leads back there by a wooden bridge. And he was pretty much maybe 10, 15 feet behind the dumpster. Oh, no. Okay. What's on the corner of it? What's on the corner of what? What's on the corner over there? Which corner? On that street. Um, there used to be like a church there. I'm not sure what it is now, but there's like a big uh, football field, baseball field area. We went there last night. You went there last night? Where'd you go last night? Me and Erica, we searched all over there last night. You searched over there last night. Did you find them? No. Okay. What led you to go over there last night? We went everywhere. We went behind Everest. We went everywhere. Okay. Okay. Don't beat yourself up because you didn't find him, okay? It's not your burden to find him. That was my burden. Okay, and he's found now. Here's a better map. Closer of the area. Okay. This is the wooded area. He's right here. Sharice, how did he end up there? Remember yesterday when I told you? Can you look up? Please look up. I, I need you to look up, Sharice. I, I can't talk to the top of your it's head. Not true. It can't be true. It's not true. It's, it's true, Sharice. It's not true. Please, can you look up so we can have a conversation a little easier? Please. It's not true. I just want you to sit up and talk to me. Okay, there's more on the table. I got more things to talk about. Please. You gotta be strong. You gotta be strong. Why did you say you don't want to talk? Sharice? Do you want me to talk to you? Is that what you're saying? Or do you just not? Are you having a hard time? You tell me. It's important, Sharice. What did you mean when you said, I don't want to talk? Do you just need a few minutes, or do you not want to talk to me truly? Mm -hmm. Okay. You just need a few minutes, he said? Yes, okay. You tell me when you're ready. I'm going to listen. I'm here for you, okay? You tell me when you're ready.
who was supposed to protect him. Just tell me when you're ready, Sharice. Do you want some tissues? I'm gonna get tissues for you, okay? Still got a lot of work to do, Sharice. Okay. Someone put him there. Okay. And I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep going. Here, here's some some tissue for you, okay? Right by your arm. Right here. Can you pull your shirt down? We can talk and I want to look at the map. I want to go over some things, okay? Just say it, please. Well, I got to show you. I got questions, okay? Sorry. Who put him there, Sharice? I don't know. I don't know. How? I wish I did. I don't know. How did he get there? I don't know. <laughs> Remember yesterday, Sharice, when we had that conversation? with Detective Arlington, and we said we're gonna call you on things mm -hmm. when we think you're lying. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm calling on you right now. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. you, you know how we got there. You do. Okay, and I'm not trying to come on you, I'm not trying to be hard on you, but listen to me. This is your one time to tell the real story. I know there's no Antoine now. I know there's no car. I know it for a fact, okay. I want to know how he died. This is your one chance. I shouldn't say one chance, but this is the time for you to tell the real story. Okay, I'm letting you tell the story. I'll be quiet if you want to tell the real story. I'll just let you talk, okay? But it's got to be the truth, Sharice. It's got to be the real story this time. You know we've been catching you in, in, in conflicts all week with the things you've been telling us. It's time for the real story, okay? He deserves it. People are going to make their opinion of this whole thing based on the story you tell about your son here today. Okay? I'll sit here. I'll heal it. Hear it. I won't get upset with you, I promise. Okay. Let's have the story. I know you just wanted what was best for him and it didn't work out that way. I know that's what you wanted for him. We found him and he can rest now. Okay. He can rest. And as his mother, you owe it to him. Tell his story the way it happened. He can't speak for himself. Only you can right now. And he deserves that. If you want him to forgive you, you'll tell his story how it should be told. Everybody 
can understand as a single mom, systems failing you, that you feel you're all alone and you do something that you wish that you could do. I didn't back. do anything. Something happened. I didn't do anything. Okay. What were you doing? Maybe. Maybe part of that is true, but you have to tell the real story, Sharice. Where did you leave him? You're not going to believe me anyway. Like, I keep telling you. I just you won't want. You believe me. I just you won't want. believe me. Sharice. You won't believe me. I will if you tell me the truth, because now I know for a fact if you're telling the truth or you're lying. Okay? A lot happened today. I'll know if you're telling me the truth. I'll know if you're lying at this point. Like I told you yesterday, we can't change what happened. All we can do is make the best decisions going forward. You can do the right thing right here, right now, and tell the story of your son and what really happened to him. Take a deep breath. It's been an uphill battle for you the whole way. You've got no support. You've been doing it all by yourself. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Well, it matters, and I think it contributed to the problem. Okay? It does matter. You don't deserve to be hit. You don't deserve to be left hungry in an apartment with a hungry child. No money. You can't have a job because you can't find someone to watch him. So you can just work for a few hours. I get it. Just like I told you yesterday, I understand that. I want you to be honest with us about what has happened. It's a different map. This is the one that I marked for you. This is where he is. Right here. Okay. This is your opportunity to tell the story, Sharice. The way you know it needs to be told. I was there last night. I know. I heard what you said. What made you go there? We went everywhere. We went everywhere. It was water. Where it was woods. Everywhere. You didn't see him last night? Shaking your head now? No, sir. Okay. Well, you don't have to do the surf stuff. Come on. Remember? I was there. Tell me how he got there, Sharice. Tell the real story. He deserves to have the real story be told. I have the police come to me. Just tell me what happened, Sharice. Why do you say all the evidence puts to you? Because look at my house. Okay, we talked about that. It was his chin, man. It was his chin. What, the blood? Is that what you're saying? It was his chin. We'll be clear about what you're saying. I don't want to misunderstand what you're saying. You keep saying it was his chin. Are you talking about... Yes, sir. Okay. What really happened, Sharice? Nobody else was there except you and him. Did he die in that apartment? No, sir. He was okay. He was good. Was he dying in that he apartment? Was good. No, sir. You don't have Only to... incident was when he was choking, but he was fine after okay. that. But he was okay. We left. He was walking. He was good. He was good. He was good. When did he die, Sharice? He was laughing. He was playing. He was good. I don't know. He was good. I'm only going to give you, like, come on. I want the real story. You won't take me, take me, because I just... Okay, Sharice, we did a lot of work today. 
Okay, this is another map. Just so you know what we're looking at. This is Lafayette Apartments. Mm -hmm. Okay. You my berries here. This is where here is. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is where you are right here. Mm -hmm. This is where you live. Okay. I told you yesterday or sometime during this week, we have gone through every camera and dumpster, everything along this East Bay Drive Road here. That's how we found the backpack. So that's the green dot? The backpack is the green dot. Okay. I mismarked it. Right there is the green dot, the backpack. That's how we found it. Okay. By going through all these dumpsters. Okay. Okay. We found that a few days ago. Like I told you. Mm -hmm. Okay. His body's here. Mm -hmm. His backpack is here. You say you left him here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So today, we started going through this area right here. Mm -hmm. On King Drive right here. There's a house. Mm -hmm. With a camera. Mm -hmm. And it sees you. Can you prove, can you show me that? Because I'm not going to believe that. I don't have the video right here to show you. I'm no. not going to believe that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're just going to have to listen to what I'm saying. Yes, sir. I'm so, yeah. That camera shows you. Mm -hmm. I don't have the camera. I'm just looking at sometimes. Oh, sorry. It's okay. At 10.15. I'm sorry, not 10.15. 10.56. That camera shows you here, okay? Your last connection for your cell phone mm -hmm. when you come off the Wi-Fi is 1022 at mm -hmm. your apartment. At 1056, you are on camera right here with the backpack on mm -hmm. and carrying your son. Mm -hmm. His body is in your arms. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not agreeing, I'm just listening to you. Okay, that's fine. There's another camera here. At the Palms, where you used to work. Nineteen minutes after this camera on Keene Park sees you, this camera sees you walking south from this way, where his body is found, carrying just a backpack now. I'm going to be sick. I would be too. I'm going to be sick. In nineteen minutes. You walk from here That's impossible. to here. I walk the path. It's That's totally impossible. it's totally possible. You walk there and you left your son there. And then when you walk by right there, you still have the backpack that you dumped in the dumpster yeah. near the apartments that you made this whole story up no. about Antoine. No, I don't believe, no, I don't believe you one Please. bit, Sharice. Yes. You are a liar. No. You have not no. told me the truth no. all week. No, no, no. That is a fact. That is a fact. The fact is he's there and he's dead. The fact is you walked by for you left him there in the woods behind that dumpster. You left him there and you carried his backpack and you left it here. And you made all this shit up to make it look like you're not a monster. You are. Because you don't even have the courage to tell your son's story. Something happened to him when you were responsible for him. I don't know if he was dead when you left him or if he just left him there in the woods all alone, dying. You didn't do anything but leave him. You left him there. You walked away from him. You went there last night to see if he was still there, and he was. I saw him with my own eyes. I found him with my group of people. We found him right where you left him, wearing the clothes, wearing the shoes. Your lies are over. This is your chance to be honest. It's all out on the table, Sharice. People will know this. People will know this story I just tell you. And you choose to do the right thing. Tell us what happened at the apartment that night. Or that's how the story goes. He's not coming back. There he is.
you can tell people what happened, Sharice. Are you a remorseful <laughs> mother or are you a monster? Like they said? It's only one of the two. There's a reasonable explanation. It's something that got out of hand and something happened or you just don't give a shit. And I'm starting to think it's number two. I haven't thought that all week. But boy, do I feel stupid because I've been in your corner. What happened that made you panic? Tell us what happened. Make us understand. This isn't the first time we've seen a dead baby. But everybody has an explanation. People can understand. Give somebody something to feel so they can feel for you. There's a reason this happened, Cherise. People deserve to know. Something happened. Grandma deserves to know. Both grandmas. Your mother has never even met him. She deserves to hear the story, the real story. Jessica, who has done nothing but help you and try to be there for you. You owe her an explanation. You love Jordan Sr., but you also hate him. You owe him an explanation. He deserves to know. It's his son, too. And this is not fair to him. Because he has to live the rest of his life knowing this. Did he fall? Did he get hurt somehow and you panicked? Didn't know what to do? Something. Something. You carried his poor body almost a mile. You were just scared. You didn't know what to do. But I don't know what led up to that. Only you and him were there. Only you can tell the story now. If you truly want your son to forgive you for whatever happened, Yeah. Come on, I'll walk into the bathroom. Make a right. shoulders, Sharice. That big weight we've been talking about. This is that. Gosh, since... This is a book we have here, and we're at the final chapter. We have all the answers. We don't want to complete that book without you. You're not a bad person. Something happened. You panicked. We see it all the time. All the time. We... It's happened in our lives. It's happened to me. I don't... No, exactly what's no, going on, Sharice. I just, happened? I'm overwhelmed right now with with everything too. Cause I didn't mean it. I know you didn't mean it. So what happened? And that's what we want to believe. But he unless you okay tell us, and I love him. I know I you love him. love him. And I was... Have I ever told you you don't love him? What happened? Come on, it'll it'll make you feel better to get this off of your conscience. I promise. Just 
Something happened at the apartment, didn't it? It was okay when, when she brought us food. Okay. When was he not okay? At what point was he not okay? I don't remember. Um, well, he had the seizure on Friday night into Saturday morning, early Saturday morning when you guys were in bed. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So at what point? Sat he was okay at, um... You said he was okay when you guys got up for the day. Mm -hmm. At what point was he not okay? Um, we got dressed. About what time? Uh, everything is pretty much the same. Saturday, um, what time did you get up? Saturday, I got up at 7 once when Jordan Singer called me, and then I got up again. You fell back asleep? Mm -hmm. and then I got up again around 11. Okay. Got him up, uh, brushed his teeth and stuff. Okay. Um, and we were just chilling. At what point was he not okay? He was okay? straight, uh, Jessica brought us food, we ate. About six o'clock, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. That was the Burger King? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and he was still, he was still fine. Okay. Um. I know it's tough. You're doing good. What happened where he wasn't fine? Uh, I took a shower, uh, got dressed. I gave him a bath, got him dressed. Um, he was still, he wasn't like the normal garden, but he was, he was walking and stuff. Um, what do you mean he wasn't the normal? Like, um, he was just acting really weird. His eyes was really weird. How were they weird? Um... Were they back in his head? Were they no, back? Like, were, were they crossed? Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, he wasn't all the way there, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, Remember lethargic? We talked about lethargic yesterday. Like, uh, he's a little loopy, maybe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Was he using that leg that he hurt the night before? Um, Remember he, he was, hurt his leg? He was, he was limping bad then. He was limping bad, he Saturday, was limping bad. Saturday night? Is that what mm -hmm. we're talking about? Yes. Um, okay. Was his leg broken? Um, I'm you, not sure. You were Googling it all night. So. Yeah, but, but he was limping pretty pretty bad. Okay, so he, he wasn't was walking good. real good. No, sir. Um, okay. We left the house. He was walking. At that point, he just... We got near... Uh, what is that? Did you leave the house the same time we were talking about all week? Nine, mm -hmm. nine fifty, ten o'clock. Um, it may have been like later, but I just remember when I had text Jordan's phone. Well, ten and twenty was when your phone disconnected. Does that so, sound right? So I'll just say ten twenty. About then, ten twenty two. Sure. Okay. Um, and the whole plan was to take him to Jordan Senior South. That sure. was the that was the plan. It's a long time. walk. Um. What path did you take? I'm going to get there. Okay. I just... Okay. So you walk I'm out of... I'm a bad person. I don't think you're a bad person, I'm not a Charisse. monster. You're not a monster. You're not. You just got to let us know what happened. Um... You left the apartment. You said he's walking a little bit, but I just, just want to clarify, like, the blood and stuff has nothing to do with this incident. Oh, that's really like from that the chin? Because it's a lot yes, of blood. Yes, sir. That's really for, that has nothing. Okay. It's nothing to do, and okay. hopefully when they do the autopsy, like, they'll prove that. Yeah, I hope so, too. Um, okay. It's fine. But, uh, that's when we got towards... Um, we didn't get off the complex yet, and by, I'll say, before the outback. Okay, like by the um, office there? That's when he just, he just passed out, like, and I just panicked. Um, he just passed out? I could have called. Sure, but, you know. I don't know. I didn't it's okay. Where did you go when he passed out? Um, so you passed out, like... 
Yeah, but he was still that, breathing. Yeah, well, but he was just... On that path between your apartment and East Bay that we took the other day? Mm-hmm. Passes out about in the middle there? Mm-hmm. Okay, so like right in here. Okay. Keep... Um... Where did you go when he passed out? Uh, we walked... Um, I don't know what side street that is. It's a, did you uh, did you ever make it to East Bay? Yeah, we made it to East Bay. Okay. Um, it's a side street. Um, is it a big street? I don't know what it's called. Which? Okay. So like Seacrest Drive is a big. Well, not a big road. It's a two lane road. But it goes all the way back to this road you were walking on. Did you take a road up to this main road? Uh, yes. Yes, I went down. One of these here? Mm -hmm. Somewhere? Okay, so either Seacrest or Fulton. Fulton, Seacrest has... Um, no, I know where Fulton is. It wasn't okay. Fulton. Seacrest has like kinder care right there, like right in here somewhere. There's a bank. Mm hmm A closed bank yeah. right there? Mm hmm Did That's that... the side street we took. Seacrest. Mm hmm Okay. Um, we walked, um, at that point, I was going to get some help, but sure. we got towards, we got past some apartments down there, yeah. and I sat him down, and at that point, he just wasn't breathing. Okay. He just wasn't breathing, um, but I could feel a pulse, and then we just sat there for a little bit, uh, and then... Like, I was like, June, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. And, like, he was, like, I'm not going to say he wasn't breathing. He was just real, uh, shallow, faint. like, faint. Okay. Um, so I picked him up. I could still hear him breathing a little bit in my ear, so I picked him up. And I just got really scared. So we walked. Yeah, we walked. Yeah. This way, if I just Can you trace your path for me on the map? So here's your apartment. So you end up there on East Bay, okay? Um, is this? Yeah. What's that street? This is Dean Park Drive. You're about to cross right there. This is where the camera sees you. Uh, but it's a, it's called something else too. It's like a, a M. I don't know. Mm mm. This is where you're seen on camera. And I'm, I know I can't show you the video right now. I just don't have it to show you right now. But this is where you're seen carrying him with your back. It's the M word. Okay. I don't know if it's because the way. No, it's the M word. McMullen. That's further up over here. No, not McMullen Booth Road. I know where. It's yeah. McMullen Road. That's yeah. way over there. You eventually end up over here because this is where he is. But you're on camera right here, on Keen Park Drive. So if you keep following, I'm trying to that, remember. If you keep following this route, it'll end up at McMullen, which is right here. Yes, I'm trying to. Well, anyways, hold on. Can you ask Laura what the intersection was she just told me about? I want to say she said Keen and Rosary. Go ahead. Um, I picked him up. I'm trying to. Yeah, no, it's right. I know, I know. Okay. And then we come down. Oh, this is a long street. This is Starkey Road or Keene Road. It's a big road. Mm hmm. We come down. Yeah, because I know where it is. We come down. Uh, we're going to come this way. Okay. I came back this way. Okay. And, um, this is where he's found. I came back this way and um. This is like a weird intersection. It's like a three-way intersection. And um. Do you remember talking to a lady right here who asked you if you were okay? Mm, I can't no. remember. Okay. I can't remember. Okay. Um, so you go down McMullen? We come down. I know. I know.
I know you said that here he's still breathing a little on Seacrest. And I set him up. Where? I set him up against the fence. Where? Uh, by the trash can. Um, Where he's found? I set him up on the fence. The chain link um, fence there? And he was, he wasn't, he wasn't like, um, dead or anything. And I, and I did leave. Where's this fence you're talking about? And when I came back, I, I came back, I came, I, I came back. Where should you leave him? I came back. You said fence. I need to know what fence you're talking about. The fence right by where he's found? I came back. And I sat him up against the fence. Well, it really wasn't the fence. It was like the... The chain link? The white... Uh, it's like a white panel surrounding mm -hmm, the dumpster. I sat him there. Okay, so the one around the dumpster? And he was, he was, he was still breathing a little bit and stuff. Okay. Um, and then I left. I just needed... I just needed to think. Okay. Um. Where did you walk when you left? At that point, I left. I went to the park. Did you walk over here where this camera saw you? Mm-hmm. I walked to the park. Right on the side of the palms, like mm -hmm. between the community center and the palms? I walked to the park. I just needed to breathe. Did you throw the backpack away here? I, uh, uh, I'm going to get to that. Okay. I needed to breathe. Because at that point, it was like, I already knew what was going to happen. Sure. And then I came back, and it was just tragic. Like, How long do you think before you came back? Um, I don't know. Okay. It wasn't long. I walked around. So you left him leaning against the, the mm -hmm. panel fence. How did he get into the woods there? The woods behind the fence. Is that when you went back? Was he dead when you went back? Yeah. Okay. Did you move him then? He was cold. He was cold. I don't feel cold in this thing. What's that? Can you call my mommy? Yeah. Why don't you call your mom? <laughs> How did, how did, what was the injury, what was the injury that made him pass out? I don't know. Was it the leg? Was something wrong with the leg? I mean, a leg. I don't know, maybe it was in pain. Leg probably wouldn't make him pass out. You know, something, um, he had to, you know, something had to happen to him. Did he throw up that night? My experience tells me, based on based on the, the uh, what you're telling me that he was experiencing, the not there look, kind of lethargic. That's a head injury. Um, a substantial head injury. So the blood in his brain is swelling at that point, surrounding the brain. The two-year-old child has this little space in between them. When blood fills that space. It has somewhere to somewhere it has he to hit go. his head that night. How did he hit um, his head? What night? When he fell off the bed. Friday into Saturday? Mm -hmm. He had hit his head. On what bed? I said he had hit his head okay. uh, when he was jumping on his bed in the living room. Okay, what did he hit his head on? On the ground. On the, okay. uh, on the floor. The type of head injury we're talking about doesn't happen from a, a low fall like that. Mm -hmm. well, he, he, he might he might have he might have hit it you know jumping on the bed but a low fall from someone his height jumping on the bed it doesn't happen. I'm just trying to tell you. I know I know but I just I just know from my experience and my training that that type of head injury is much more severe. It's a really hard hit, a really 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 hard hit. So remember your neighbor I told you about? He said something hit their wall really no. hard on Saturday. Mm -mm. Did he hit his head on mm -mm. something Saturday afternoon? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Wow, did he hit his head hard? Mm -mm. What part of his head? All I what? remember, um, 
what part of his head he, did he hit? Damn, hold on. I'm trying to remember walking in the living room. It was up here. Cause it was Punch. like reddish. It was like forehead. red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Did you see him hit his head? No, but I just seen it was like real red. Well, like, how'd you know he hit his head from uh, jumping Cause up? it was kind of like, um, not like a big knot, but I, I, I knew the difference between when he was in the room with me and when he was out there playing. Okay. Uh, so where were you when he hit his head? I was in the, um, not the living room. I was in the room. The bedroom? Mm-hmm. Okay, where was he? Uh, he was in the living room. Where his little toddler bed is there? Mm -hmm. Is it the living room or is it like the dining room there? Um, like the, like the dining room. Okay. Um, I mean, we don't, we don't where it was yesterday when we went to the apartment? Where me and you went in, it was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where it was? Okay. But it was, um, I don't know if you was there before they took everything out. But no. the bed was like more up against the wall. Yeah, it was pulled off the wall a little bit, but it was against that mm -hmm. wall. Okay. Oh God, I'm gonna be sick. Damn, dog. How did he hit his head so hard, Sharice? It's like, when I'm telling you the truth, it's like, damn, like... Why didn't we talk about this two days ago? Why were you afraid to tell me? It just kind of snowballed, didn't it? You didn't know what to do, and you tell one little lie, and it just grows and grows and grows. Yeah, before this you know it. a clean it. slate tonight. It's out of hand. All that stuff we've talked about the past few days, it's behind us. I want to know how he hit his head. I didn't make him hit his head, so I can't tell where, you. Where was he when your grandmother came with the food? Um, his grandma, he was in the room, chilling, watching TV. Was he lethargic then? Oh no, I almost say that word, I don't really get it. Was, I'm sorry. Was, was he, he acting was off? He was he acting um, funny? No, he was just sitting there watching TV. Sure, but hey. And then he ate, he ate pretty good. Was he like woozy, like kind of out of a he day? Didn't seem, or? He didn't seem. Because that's something that will, will build he didn't seem, as the pressure builds in his head. I mean, I really didn't notice it because he was eating fine. When did you first notice he was lethargic when you woke up that day at 7? At seven, I didn't wake him up at seven. Okay, so he, was, he was still asleep. He at stayed asleep. So he stayed asleep at eleven. Mm -hmm. What point after you woke him up at eleven was he not looking right? Later that evening, I laid in When the evening. approximate? When did you first think that he's not right? Something's wrong. Yeah. You're gonna know right away because when something like that happens, uh, he'll start to seize. He'll start to, his eyes will go back. It's going to be immediate. You know exactly when that happened. Did he hit his head at night when he was having the beer in bed? And he was choking on his tongue? That's probably when he hit his head again, when he was having the beer. So I'm not sure because I woke up to him shaking. That's how I ended up waking up. What so, would he have hit his head on though? He was in the uh, bed. The wall is... Um, I don't have like like uh, something to protect this. So sure. We sleep right on the wall. Right. So I, I I honestly couldn't tell you that. But even his rolling or bumping head on the wall like that, it wouldn't be a severe well, head injury. I don't, I don't. Did you get frustrated? No. <sighs> please stop doing that. Please. I have to ask you. Please stop doing that. Cause I'm fine. Please. Was he pissing you off? No. He never makes me mad like that ever. He never makes me mad like that. He's not even really a crybaby. Like, he never... He's not a crybaby. Something significant had to have happened to him. Okay. Okay. Stop breathing. I know it's tough. I know. We're just trying to narrow down the head injury. This is the hardest part. You're right there. You've you, gone through every single door. I do not this know. Is, this I is don't the last know. door. Do you do know. I don't know. You do I don't know. know. And that's... Remember that... that I don't know. I really incident. don't know. I listen really, to, listen to me for I a really don't know. Remember All that? I remember was he was okay when we was walking. Then he started acting real funny. No. And I just no. I, <laughs> no. You're gonna know right away. It's that. It's that moment when your kid, my kid, in the past has done something, and you just snap. You don't think about it because you you just you just snap. And no, after it's done, you're like shit. He, what he's I really mean? not that type of kid. Like he really is to. 
Maybe not all the time, off. but you know, you had a hard day. That you're, already, you're already angry at, at senior. There you go again. I, I know, Sharice. Because something, go again. Something, happened. something happened. Something happened to make you... He didn't bump his head on the wall. He didn't fall all off right. the bed. You're right there. Okay. You're right there. You've done so good, Sharice. No, because don't, 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 no. don't, don't, don't do this that. This is the you final piece so of the puzzle. Good. And then Charisse. when I'm okay. telling you the and truth, it's like... Let me tell you something else that I saw at the scene when I saw his body in water. Mm -hmm. I saw a bruise on his abdomen that's left by a finger, by a squeeze. And what that probably is... Because all I remember is, is him having... Um, that's him. He has a birthmark right here. No, that's it's not a birthmark. Let me see that. Cause you're not going to be able to see it. Well, yeah, you probably will. Where? Right there. That's a bruise. That's not a birthmark. You said his birthmark's on his right side mm -hmm. over here. You know what that this is? This is a bruise. You know what that is? That's somebody grabbing, grabbing the baby and hitting him against something. That's what that is. Yes. I told you I've been doing this forever, right? I've yes. seen everything. I've seen it all. You panicked. I you wanted to get him to senior, or maybe even the hospital. Hell, you're, you're almost there. And yes, I believe he died in your arms. But something happened to make you leave. I really want to just get him some food. But he didn't eat. You can't eat after a head injury like that. Oh no, he ate. What happened? We, un we can understand that. I told you hundreds of people I've interviewed and they've all, yep, that one second, one split second is all it was. And you would take back that second in a heartbeat, I bet, right now. But we can't take it back because we're here. Remember, he says you owe it in order to tell his story. Then he will forgive you. Then you will be forgiven. He's your baby. You owe it to him. Give him the respect. He loved you so much. He, like you said, I was supposed to protect you. That one split second, we've all been there. We've just been lucky enough for something terrible hasn't happened. What happened? We won't think different of you, Sharice, like you said. It don't matter. You don't have to think anything different of me because I'm going to face up to... But you're not. You're stopping, you're stopping right to here. Other years and you're I'm going to die in prison. You're not facing up to anything because you haven't, you haven't made amends yet. You're right there. I'm going to die in prison. We don't know that. I'm going to. You don't have to judge me. It's going to be... A bunch of I'm gonna die in jail. No, 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 no. Remember, I said people. People always want to know what happened. There's people, people that will be judging you. Gonna die in county. People that will be judging you will say, "Yeah, I've been there." If we go and, and end this chapter, like if you want us to end it, saying she doesn't know, she didn't say anything. That's when they're like, "The hell with her." But give some, give some empathy, give some, some remorse. Reason. Finish that book. People can understand frustrations. We've written a whole book this week, Sharice, you and me. This is the last page. Can I call my mom, please? Yeah, I told you you can call her. Okay, okay. I'm going to let you call her. Okay, but I want to know how he hurt his head. I do not know how he hurt his head. Okay. I don't know. All I can tell you is I left. I came back. When I came back, he was gone. That, at that point... He was gone or he was dead? He was dead, and then you put him in, I left. in the water. I left, and actually, I didn't put him in the water, though. I Where did you put him? him? I raised him up, and I set him over the fence. Was he still alive? Um, I don't think so. I doubt it. How did you lose your shoe? I, I really don't freaking know how I lost my shoe. But I, I did have my shoe at Largo Park. You didn't have it on when you were there on the video? 
I don't know, so I must have lost it somewhere. Did you lose it back in the mud on back there? No, I never went back there. I'm scared of dirt and shit. Um, you were scared of dirt, but you put him back there? That's just... I, I, can, stop, see, I can see the path you took. I, I saw the shoe prints. I never went behind the, uh, I never went behind the fence. So where, what, so what, what, what part, him, what part of the fence? Right, the dumpster there, the, over the chain link fence? The, the, what, the metal fence? Yeah. I never, I never went over the fence. What, when you put him over the fence, where was the dumpster? Uh, I was, I got behind the dumpster. Okay. And put him over the chain link fence. <sighs> Why would you do that if he's still alive? Cause First I, he did. I, I knew. He, I just told you. When he well, came back, he was you. cold. So did you move him in the water mm -hmm. yesterday? No, my cousin Erica was with me yesterday. How did he get in the water? I have no idea. That's a good 10, 15 feet from the fence to the water. I still want to know how he hit his head. I can't tell you that. Something happened. I don't know. I'm not the bruises something. are up high. I, well, I'm just talking. Okay, well, I'm just talking. Done. But that all happened in your care, right? Nobody else was around but you. Correct? Nobody was around. You're alone right there. You said we're done. We're done. You're in that apartment, right? Uh. Okay. No. You said you want to be done. You tell me if you I want I just need you to listen. I'm listening. Instead of... You tell me if you want like, to talk to me. It's like, when I'm trying to tell you, like you you still keep saying stuff. No, it's like I'm, I'm questioning what you're telling me. You're, you, you're starting like you did, I guess, days past what I'm being told. It's and like... Getting a little lies. I, I don't know, or I... Are, are we done or are we not done? You make up the choice. You said you want to be done. How did his head get injured? You didn't, he didn't fall. Let's start from there. Just because that's what made you leave the apartment. No, I only left the apartment because I needed him to eat. Like, I was hungry. I'm pretty sure he but was you hungry. you already got food, right? That grandma. was... Three hours earlier, yeah, she got mm -hmm. food. Well, so. that was the first time we had ate. That whole, like, literally, that was the uh, first time we had eaten So what, what happened to him between Grandma coming and you leaving the house? You want to know the honest truth based on what they're telling me? He is already severely injured, if not dead, before Grandma comes in. It's over. Because mm -hmm. you're searching for seizures, you're searching for thigh bones that I'm, I'm being told. Here. Yeah, because he had fell the night before. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, you understand that the thigh bones right here, right? Mm -hmm. That's no, this, and I told you when I checked his leg, this didn't feel right. And uh, if that's recording, you can go back and look. We don't know it's broken until tomorrow. But if that is in fact broken, that's the hardest bone in your body to break. Mm -hmm. It's freaking nearly impossible. And it didn't feel, it without. didn't feel normal. Serious impact. He did not feel normal. Okay. And he was so, open. A two year old that potentially has an injured leg. Because, okay. Fussy, it's going to be just I a pain in the ass. Mm -mm. He wasn't fussy. I mean, he cried and he fell. Okay. But he wasn't like, um. So, what What was it that, that made you snatch him up that one second where he hit his head? Trust me, been there, done that. So, so we're not leaving until we get the story. I'm, I'm doing this for you, believe it or not. I know that's the hardest part to admit. I know it. I get it. it it's it's deja vu for every other interview I've done. It's the hardest part. What difference does it make? You've already said what you've done. We're just at this little this little crossroads here. Can I tell you a story? What I did to my child when I was 22 years old and having a new kid? No? I, I get how you can lose your frustration. Something happened where you got frustrated and you lost it for a split second. 
we keep going back to that because we know based on our experience that that's what happens with a head injury. It's the only piece left. Don't let somebody else fill in the blanks. I know you didn't mean it. I know you didn't mean it. I, I, I want to know you didn't mean it. But you need to you need to put this period at the end of that sentence to let me know what what it was that frustrated you. Because if it wasn't something frustrated, it was just done out of spite. I hate this kid. I don't want this kid. DCF wants it. They're not going to get it. That's a spiteful monster. You are a mother that carried a injured, potentially dead child in your arms for a very long way. You cared about him. You knew what you did. You came back because you're probably thinking to yourself, maybe by the grace of God, he's standing up yelling a name. What happened inside that apartment? He is dying when you say you get to the apartment complex, just a block around the corner, if that part is true. But something happened in that apartment complex to cause that head injury, to cause that. No, you not wait for the, 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 the autopsy. No, 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 no. all the autopsy is going to tell us is subdural hematoma, all this stuff, subacnoid, crap, fractured skull, but we're still not going to know what happened unless you tell us. We can guess, but we don't want to do that to you. Everybody else is. Who is? It don't matter. I'm, I'm never going to get out of prison. Like, I'm not even going to see my daughter. The difference so is, the difference is, if, if it comes to the difference is, did this mother, was she honest? Did she accept what happened? Did she give us a reason? Did she show remorse? Right now, I can't say that you are. Why, why tell us all this stuff and I leave and then leave really, this little bit out? I think it's because I think it's because you think people are gonna think you're how could you harm your baby? People do it all the time, all the time. Or there would be no DCF, there would be no CPI, but there is because it happens. And eventually they get their kids back and they move on. This time you you got unlucky. That's all it is. It's Luck. You got unlucky. I got lucky a long time ago. You are unlucky. So what happened? You do remember. You'll never forget that. I'm trying to. Okay, just... But you'll never forget it. Ever. That at least what you... When, and if you say it, it'll be, it's all out, arts on the table. Like, I now ask for forgiveness. You like, don't get it without the full story. Like you said before, it's not a hit that you don't notice. It's a hit. All right. Okay. Last piece of the puzzle is. Real red and, and swollen in the forehead, like mm -hmm. you said. Okay, did you push his head into the wall? Mm -mm. That was when he had fell on the floor, but. Okay, well, that we know that's, a... not, that's not going to happen. It's been okay, tested well, numerous your, times. Well, that's your opinion. No, that's it's a not medical opinion. fact. It's a medical fact. Fire. I'm really trying not to catch your attitude, but I, it's okay. It's, it's a frustrating story. moment. Hey, if, if you don't, if you don't want to say it, don't say it. I'm not trying to get you to say something that I don't want you to make up anything. But I just know, based on my experience, based on medical facts, that you're leaving out what happened to his head. 
And if that's the road you want to take, that's on you. But it doesn't show somebody who's taking responsibility for their actions. It shows somebody that thinks, fuck it, let the cards play out the way they play out. I hope you did something. Was it the attitude of I'm giving him a DCF and nobody's gonna have him? Mm -mm. Okay, what was that? Cause I, I, mm -mm. Well, what was it? Jordan mm -hmm. Sr. pissed you off? No. I'm just asking. He just stopped saying it, man. Okay. What happened? Mm -hmm. I promise you, you'll feel better. We'll cry about it and we'll move on. You owe it to your son. Of course not. And then what happened? I just, I, I really, Lord knows I'm trying, but the only things I can think of for him to hit his head was falling, or if he hit his head on the wall when he was having a seizure. I, I don't well, the, the seizure's the after right. the head injury. Mm -hmm. the seizure's a result of and the head injury. Me, I know that because my mom has seizures. So that's why that's why we keep coming back to that because he didn't have a seizure during the seizure. Right. It's exactly. before. Well, he might have bumped it or something, but the major head injury is before okay. the seizure. Because okay. that's why he's having a seizure. Okay. And that major head injury is caused by somebody else. Okay. You're the only one in the apartment with him, correct? Correct. Can you give me that at least? Nobody else was there. Just you. You live there alone. So you remember why I asked you the question? Because I want you to at least admit that. I already admit it to the... Be a, be a woman. I already admit it that we stay alone. Okay. Then there's only one person responsible for that head injury, and that's you. Don't let the doctor guess what happened. You see, the truth sets you free. <laughs> no, it sets you free mentally, it sets you free in your heart, it sets you free. That's what they mean by that. The truth will set you free. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Let's try it, I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to live with this guilt. I let everything out. Except the one part that, that started mm -hmm. this chain of events. Mm -hmm. You want us to finish the story, we'll finish it. I'm going to suggest, unless you tell me otherwise, you murdered in, in that apartment, mm -hmm. you panicked, you left mm -hmm. the apartment, you dumped them by a dumpster. And then, according to your words, you come back, throw him over a chain link fence, 
like a piece of trash. I didn't throw him. Chain link fence is this tall. He was all the way over Unless he went over the side. Plop, a piece of trash. Trust me, I already feel like a horrible person. I am a horrible person. I am a monster. Because you won't come to the truth that to tell us what happened that night. I will have to agree with you if that's the case. I'm trying to remember, I swear to God. You won't forget that, Sharice. You I won't. swear to God, I, I don't, I, I, so I don't. So is that because you, you hit him so many times that night? Mm -hmm. You're never going to forget that moment. You know exactly what it the is. The only time, the only time I remember him hitting his head was when he, I, like, I'm being honest with no, that. The you. The only time did, I remember, okay, something. okay, so, all right, I did it, all right. It's medically impossible to roll okay. off a bed. I didn't uh, say he uh, rolled Okay, off. a two foot kid falling head first into, I, I, I don't suppose you have tile flooring, but if you do, not gonna happen. Kids are pretty strong. Okay. They're pretty resilient. Well, where do we go from here, Sharice? You take me to jail and I do so I don't know. Who told you that? I haven't said that. Because I don't, I don't know. Is this how the book's going to end? I'm really trying to remember. I swear to you, like... Okay. Um, well, if that's how the story ends right now, so be it. Cause he was, he was, he was chilling. He ate all his food. Uh, it's a hard hit. Okay. A hard hit. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, you're sorry, Sharice. You know. Let him, let, him, let him know you're sorry by admitting to what you did. Nobody accepts apologies unless you admit what they did. Make it sincere. This is the time. This is your chance to tell it. I didn't kill him. No, the hit when he hit his head didn't kill him. Didn't kill him at the time. swelling of his, of his brain and the blood in his head is what killed him, okay? Not the hit. He was still alive for a while.
he wants to finish the story. Can I just write all this out? Yeah. I'll just have a six. I know. I understand. Yeah, that's fine. Get a, uh, get a Miranda statement, actually. Oh, here we go. I got it. What would you like? I'll just start her with this. Just... Okay. Hang on a second. Can I see? I'm going to explain it to you, okay? What did you do tonight? These are the rights I gave you earlier. I got to go out and I got to talk, okay? gotta 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 talk with people, okay? I got to talk. I got to figure out what we're going to do. Why do you do that? Can I call my mom? Well, I'm going to let you call her. I promise you. You want to write, I want you to write while it's fresh in memory. Let me see the form for a second, please. I'm going to fill it out. Today's the fourth. But this can be used against me, correct? I told you that in the car. Everything can be used against you, okay? It, it's your choice. Sometimes writing down makes it easier. Because I don't want to say I want a lawyer and then they don't even come here. It's totally up to you, Sharice. Okay. I just want somebody to be here, too. But I want to talk to you. You know, if you get what I'm saying, like, I want to talk well, to you guys. Be, be clear about what you're saying, okay? Because it's important. If you want a lawyer here, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Okay? I know. I want to talk to you tonight, but I don't want to be by myself. Well, I don't know who you want me to call to be with you, okay? It's your choice. These are the things I read you off the card in the car. Just how I read them. My little card I carry around is the same thing. Read this paragraph after. If you want to write it out, sign the form. You don't have to fill this out. That would be me. And you turn it over and you write whatever you want to write. Okay, but there's your rights. This is the paper you start on. I'm not a monster. I don't think you're a monster, Cherise. You're a single mom with the world against you. It really is. And you're in a bad situation that you nobody would choose. Nobody would choose to be here if, if they could. Nobody ever comes. I know, you've been calling all day Friday, all day Saturday. Those people don't give a shit about you. They're not there to help you. They wouldn't give a shit about you. They don't even care about him. This just happened and then they came. Yeah, we get that. That's the frustration part. Yeah, I'm so sorry, too. We know you're sorry. Nobody's... Nobody thinks you're not sorry. Of course not. It's it's. Sharice, something he hit his head somehow, and it just led you down a path that you couldn't. It led you off a path that you couldn't get off. He wouldn't wake up when? When would he not wake up? I went back and he just wake him up. That's because he was dying, Sharice. Here's a good picture. I don't even deserve to see that. You do. Remember what I told you yesterday? I don't deserve this Remember what I told you yesterday when I said one bad moment doesn't define our life? Just because one so thing happened. And I'm sorry. Sharice, just because one thing happened that was bad <laughs> doesn't take back all the good times. It doesn't negate it everything good. good. It doesn't negate everything you did as a mother. You were a good mom. You were. Something happened. Something happened. Remember him as that happy little guy. Not the no, guy. He's not. He's not that big. He's not. He's not. But, but Sharice, that's who he was. 
He was happy with Gordon. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. In the end, he had one problem. Tell us. Tell him that. Look at him and tell him what you're oh, sorry for. What did you do? Tell him. <sighs> Pretend he's right here. I am so sorry for hurting you. What did you do? This is your chance. This is his chance. He's watching over you now. He's in a better place. He's not hurt anymore. He will forgive you. You ready to write it out? You know, I just want to say it. was his right leg that was hurt, right? Thanks, man. Okay. What was wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Do you remember something you had up there? I'm just thinking about Jordan Senior. Why? Because through all the bullshit, that was still his job. You know, it will be easier on him if he knows exactly what happened. If he's left in the dark about the last little piece and he'll never know, he'll, he'll have that weight to carry his entire life. Um, he kept crying because he was hungry and I just got mad, you know. I wasn't really mad. I just wanted him to just shut, just shut up for two seconds. Yeah. It's okay. It's frustrating. How are you holding him? I wasn't holding him. He was okay. um I can feel the weight coming off you as you talk. I'm a monster. It's not. You had a moment in time. I've been trying since the beginning to let you know that it's okay. I don't wanna die too. I didn't mean I know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> What happened when he wasn't getting any food? <laughs> you just wanted him to stop crying. I'm just like... I hit him like really hard and he... He hit his head really, really hard. On what? On the wall. Which wall? The wall by our bed. Okay, when was he crying and he wouldn't stop? Cause he still didn't eat. Like we ate that one time Friday. Okay, so this is after Grandma drops off food. No, she came Saturday. Okay. So when, before Grandma came. Correct. Right? Yeah. This was like. Um, we had Bill. He hit his head then, and so, then so with the this was around. Oh, damn. I, I really can't remember the time, but I know he hit his head pretty hard on the wall. It's after the social worker comes? and yeah. Is it before the seizure at night? On Saturday night? Oh, or Saturday yes. morning? The social worker comes at about 8 o'clock on Friday. I want to say... Oh, hold on. Um, Well, this 
who after the social worker came. Right, right, because he was fine when they came. Mm -hmm. So Friday night, late night? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you sat in the bedroom when you were in bed? Okay. You, you kind of did this, so you hit him with like the back of your hand? And he hit it, he hit it really hard. Like really, really the back hard. of his head? Yes, sir. What, what part of his head did you hit with your hand? Um, I hit the, I, I, like I hit the, the front of his face, like, but it was like right here. Hard. Um. How's he positioned in the bed? And how are you positioned? So you're, you're um, here. Up. Your bed's in the corner of the room. I'm more up. This is the corner of your room and the bed's like that. Yeah, but say like we're on this side. Like, well, like I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. This way. Okay, so, so this is the corner of your room back here? Mm -hmm. He's closer to the window. Okay. Because I got to sit like towards the end. Sure. Like when I'm up from my phone to charge. And your bed has a wall right behind mm -hmm. Okay. And then I just... He was sitting up right there where, where my partner's sitting. And where's your hand? Hit him. Don't hit my partner, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you're really just put your hand on him. Like that, like, like really, really. By the high. eyes, and then his head and goes then back. He went okay. Back what happened when he hit his head? Um, he was crying, but he was like, uh. Is he on again? Mm-hmm. At that point, I felt bad because he was. Sure, like, hey. sure. Um, is that is that why? But um. But. When does he start having the seizures? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. It's okay. It happened. It happened. Okay? I really didn't it's mean to. It's all part of the city. I really didn't mean to. I know you didn't mean it. I know you didn't mean it. It's exactly what I've been saying from the get-go, Sharice. It was a split second. Oh, shit. I know you're fed up. I expect you to be fed up. I know you fucked up, but... I cold. I know, and we can't bring him back. just took him to the hospital. Sharice, if we, could, if we could bring him back, we all would. There's not one person in this world. I was just so scared. And that's okay. I, hey, Sharice, I, I would have been scared too. I'm sorry. He knows. Sharice, he knows. Okay? Did I kill him? You injured him. You injured him. And it, it caused some serious problems. Yeah. I my baby. Yeah, that's what led to his death. Yes. Okay. But it takes a strong person to admit what they did. Okay. I'm not strong. I don't deserve. Well, you won't be remembered as a monster. This is not a monster story. This has never been a story about a monster. When I met you. I knew this was a story about a frustrated mother who had no chance by circumstance because everything was against her. And I knew you got frustrated. And as we started talking about the searches in your phone and the seizure, it only became more apparent. Okay? I don't have nobody in my corner. I was in your corner. I'm going to be by myself in there. That's not... Nobody will come see me. Nobody gonna forgive me for this. People will forgive you, Sharice. I forgive you. I forgive you. I'm but his dad... He's... His dad... His dad part of the problem, okay? You were doing this, you know, the best you could with the circumstances. I do. I didn't mean to. I know. Charisse, you're not the first person to be through something like this. And nobody ever means these things to happen. Nobody. You mix it outside before you take me to jail. Yeah, you gotta you gotta hang out here for a little bit. I gotta go out and, and make some phone calls and whatnot, okay? I'm gonna go to jail. I know. I, I know. Need to. I know. 
You said you're hungry? Okay. Do you want to still write out what we were talking about? No? Okay. He was a happy kid. I just want to let me keep this picture. Let me make sure there's nothing else on there. Just hold on to it for now, okay? I'll need it back in a little bit. But you just hold it for now while you're in here, okay? So you're not alone. Okay? Let me scoot you this desk over, okay? Am I allowed to get my phone? Not right now. Okay. Let me move this back real close, okay? There's tissues here. Okay. I, need, I just want to call my mom. I know. I'm going to let you call her. I told you I would. Okay. If you change your mind and you decide you want to write again, I'll leave it in here. Okay. What's the charge? I gotta go talk. I gotta go. I think I know, but I what gotta go talk. What are It's a homicide, Sharice. What is what is that? It's like a murder. You? Okay. How long do you think? I don't know. I don't know. That's way down the road. It's way way down the road. Okay. No, I don't. I wanted to ask. Can you please come to court? Please. I will be there. I promise. And I know you got to speak again. I know. Well, you know, Sharice. I told you. I told you in the beginning. I don't think you're at first. Let me go this by myself. I'm not Sharice. I still don't think you're a bad person. Happened to his leg. I told you that's the strongest bone in the body. Something significant. He's got a really bad injury on his leg. Yeah, his, his right leg's pretty bad. Did something happen to his leg? I know you hit his head, but... Remember, this is, I mean... It's a thigh bone. That's, that's, that's the strongest one it gets. Even the knee fell weird. Um, How'd he hurt his leg for real? I swear to you, I, I really don't know. I just remember him falling, and after that, he just kept limping, like, and he just kept limping, but it wasn't really swollen. Falling from where? When? Um, off the bed, Um, but when I checked it, I, I knew it didn't feel right, mm -hmm. but he wasn't, like, um, like, when he walked, he would just limp, but he wasn't he walking. Hurt, he hurt his leg before the social worker came or after? It was after because he, he so, that's when he so was everything in the happens room Friday night basically. Because he was he was chilling. So he's crying because of the leg. He's crying because he's hungry. Basically is what you're saying. Everything was just messed up. Right. Okay. Everything. Yeah. I'm sure he's not having a good day. His legs hurting him. Did you see him fall? How he fell on his leg? No, I just heard like a loud boom. From your bed? From, from him his bed. from his bed in the living room and then he was just crying. He wasn't like... Is that when you brought him in your bed for the night? Yes. And then shortly after is when you hit him in the face. Because he just had crying. Yeah. Okay. Is I'm that sorry. when you were looking at, you know, thigh bones, researching thigh bones? Yeah, because it, it just didn't feel right. Right. It, I, I knew something was wrong, but... And then he has the seizure at night. I was just freaking stupid. I was just freaking stupid. Well, I appreciate you did this. You finished the book, Sharice, and finished it. Please don't let me go through this by myself. We won't. Please. I've been here for you the whole time. Please don't, please, because I know I don't got nobody. I know, Sharice. And my mom, she broke it. I don't think she can survive this. She really survived this. I'll be there for you as much as I can. Like you said, I'll have to, you know, I'll have to tell the story the way it's been told to me. The good and the bad, you know, the lies. I'll have to tell it. Okay, that's all got to be a part of my report. But in the end, you redeemed yourself by being honest. In the end, you made the good choice. I know. And whatever consequences you have to face, Whatever that may be, you hold your head high. You hold your head high because you did the right thing in the end. No matter what happens, 
in the end, you made the good choice. You did the right thing. As hard as it was to sit here and tell us that, it's the hardest thing you've ever done. It's the hardest thing you'll ever have to do. There's cameras and stuff out there. I don't know. I don't know. They've been following us everywhere. I can't get five minutes without being near a reporter or a news truck. They don't even know who I am or my role in this. They are everywhere right now. Okay? But hopefully they're all over where he's found. Okay? Because that's the interesting story right now. They don't know you're here with me. They don't know what's being said in this room. They'll know eventually, but, you know, we'll probably have parted ways by then. Okay? I got to go make some phone calls. I got to do some things. I'll try to get you a snack um, and a phone call as soon as I can. Okay? All right. Just take some time and decompress, okay? It's been a long day. Can we just open the blinds? I just don't like feeling like I'm... I know, I know. I can't right now, okay? I got a lot of people out there doing a lot of different stuff, okay? Hey, Ma, it's Sharice. Please, please call me back as soon as you get this message. I'll bring it in when she calls. Please, can I have my phone for a little bit? <laughs> no. Why not? If she calls, I'll give it to you. No, I'm just I, asking. I don't want her. other people calling. You calling other people. No, I'm not. Let me, let me wait till. What's that? So I don't got nobody else to call. Is it okay if I call my sister? But she's on Facebook, though. No, you can. Let me. Let me. Let me get with him first. Hang on. I'll okay. Be back. Please, I just want to talk to one family member or something. Okay. In your personal opinion, um, dealing with cases like this, what usually happens? They're so different. Each one is so different. I mean, some people, um, you know, go through the court system and admit what they did and they come up with a plea deal. Some people take it to trial. Um, it's just, I mean, it, it's all depends on, on you and the state attorney. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough question to ask because I've seen them where it's, you know, life never ever, and I've seen it where it's pretty normal. So it just all depends on your opinion. In my opinion, being that you were on 
honest about everything and came off it, that's going to do well for you, in my opinion. In my experience, that's what I've seen. Um, whether that happens all the time? Mm -hmm. No. But um, I can't say it once it's out of our hands at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what Keith can do, because he meets with the attorneys that prosecuted. Hey, Sharice. Who is Keith? He's who he's the oh, main detective. Oh, detective we, um, <clears throat> she was honest with me. Um, you know, she got frustrated. Uh, whatever he can, whatever he said, whatever you two said to each other, he's been my partner for a while. He's going to relay that to the state attorney's office. Remember when I said that? You know, don't don't let us uh, write your story because. Um, we might not be accurate. Well, you can say, or he can say, no, I'm sure he was honest. Here's what she said, A through Z. And in my opinion, people, you know, like I said before, people can, can understand that because... I mean, I'm not saying I should, I should, I should be punished, you know, because he didn't deserve it. I'm just saying, like, don't, don't throw me away. I just... How old are you? 21. 21. You're so young. I think if you keep your head held high, if you... Uh, I mean... You, you look 100% better. I mean, was I right that you'll feel... I felt... It's like my son's still going, but I just couldn't... Eventually, I knew what was going to happen. I just couldn't accept... I understand. I couldn't accept it. But you got to feel better inside. You know, like you said earlier, the truth will set you free. I mean, I, I, you have to, I would think, because you look at that you feel like, oh, okay. It's you out know, now. This stuff, yeah, it's out now. It's in God's hands. It's in whatever. Um, we just go from there. So. So, wow, your life could be one way. <laughs> It changes. Yeah. Less than a second. You're still young, so we'll see. And like I said, he'll he'll say. What's he'll the? I'm truth. sorry, but so I, I've just okay. never been in this situation. Well, I don't really know people who've been in this situation, right. but like, what's the? I know it's different. Uh, like murders, however they say it. Degrees. Mm -hmm. Like what's what's the what's the worst? The state attorney determines what what they want to file. Like sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes you know you can arrest somebody for say burglary, and they decide to file a theft. Mm -hmm. That all gets worked out between lawyers. And so what do you think? About I'm, what? I'm, I'm just scared, I'm so, and I don't, I don't. I just want to ask as many questions as I can. Whatever he decides, he'll tell you. Um, you know, we have to, based on what the law says, the, you know, we have a statute book, we have to go, okay, does this fit? Does this fit? And then he writes it up. What I would guess is um, there's, it kind of separates into two, two different charges. Okay. It eventually becomes one, but it's two. Okay. So you'll have most likely like an aggravated child abuse. Okay. It means... You did something to cause great bodily harm mm -hmm. to, to a child. I understand. And then, then there's the murder. With that being done, aggravated child abuse and the person dies become murder. So... Do you think I murdered him? Well, you did. I don't know I'm saying. I mean, when you say murder, yeah, I think, I think what you did caused him to die. Yes. Okay. 100%. I know I'm confident you didn't mean to do that, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I, I just want to know, be honest. No, yep, I'm being honest with you, yes. Uh, what they decide to file, I know, like I said, once we leave here, we're in the dark. Um, you'll, you'll get an attorney probably uh, tomorrow morning, they'll meet with you, and uh, they can probably answer more questions than I can. And then the state normally has like three weeks or so before they decide what they want to do. So if you were in charge like, to determine, what would you say? 
if I were like the judge and all that, mm -hmm. well, thankfully I'm not. So I don't have, I, I can't make that decision because I care about people. I mean, or, I, I mean, not like the judge, like if you were in, if you were the state attorney, what would you say? I would know. I would, if I had just looked at a book and, and left and pretended I didn't even know you because you know, when you know somebody, it changes things. Mm -hmm, so true. if I'm just looking at a book, then I'll look, okay, um, if it's murder, what makes a murder? And then A, B, C, D, did all these things happen? Yep. Okay, then as a state attorney, I'll probably file the murder because mm -hmm. they don't know you. They don't, they haven't talked to the Detective Whedon yet. They haven't talked to your family. Um, and that's what they do before, if there is a trial, you know, they, they talk, the lawyers talk, your lawyer will talk to them. and. You know, if something can be worked out, great. If not, then they let a jury decide, and then a jury will decide. Nobody, it, ultimately, it's a jury's decision, or if you don't want to go that far, it's, a, it's sometimes they make deals where it's like, okay, I'll plead guilty to this if I get this. And sometimes they're like, oh, okay, that sounds fair. So, I, I mean, it could go a million different ways. I know that doesn't help your, your question, but... They have good, good public defenders. If that's the route that happens, they, they do it all the time. Mm -hmm. So they'll be able to answer any question you can have, and and they'll be honest with what they think will happen. So I just don't want to be portrayed as a monster. I don't think you will because. With an explanation, like I said, people can, like I said, you were unlucky. You were unlucky. So, who cares what other people think? It's what you think, and I would hope you feel better about yourself being honest. So. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to sit there and, and be like, oh, I plead to be innocent, because... He don't deserve that. I mean, I don't want to slap on the wrist. I just, I just need another chance. If I do some years, you know, I'll take that. But I just want to at least have another shot at life because like 18, that's the first relationship I jumped in ever in life. Right. Like ever. I was a- Important game. They had to- I went to school every single day. I caught the bus from St. Pete all the way to the countryside just to go to school. I was, yeah, that's hard. Things just changed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, keep your health, head held high and... Can you ask him to come in here so I can mm -hmm. talk if, he, if yeah. he's able? Uh, are you able to talk or no? For a minute. What's up? Um, I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. Okay. Um, like what's gonna, what's gonna take place? I mean, I know I'm going. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're I just want to know, like. At this point, you're considered under arrest. You're being charged mm -hmm. with aggravated child abuse. Okay. And first degree murder. How bad is that? Um, it's not good. I know, I just like... It's not good. Honest. As far as penalties go, honestly, um, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Um, based on your experience? Based on my experience, not good. Um, but what happens is you're charged today, okay? You get charged, we send you to county jail, um, we bring all the case to the state attorney's office and they make a filing decision on it. They'll review everything, they'll talk with us and they'll decide what to file the charge as. Um, and they can change it, they can alter it, but I'm pretty confident they'll probably stay with what we've chosen. Um, and you, you know, you'll get your own attorneys and, and they'll decide how to handle it from there. I mean, after today, I'm basically out of the decision-making pool. Um, I understand. So, okay. I just want to know, like, 
Where do you see this going? Like, like away from <clears throat> being... Quite honestly, Sharice, it's up to you. It's up to you where it goes from here. You know, you can, you can, you take it however you want to take it. You know, you'll, you'll have your own lawyer who will give you advice on what they think you should do. And you just got to do what's best for you. And there's no hard feelings here. This is not, um, you know, I don't take anything you decide from here on out personally. You, you're looking out for yourself and, and it's okay. And I don't want to slap on her wrist, you know. I mean, no, I, I deserve. I don't, to, I don't think it's going to be a slap on the wrist. I, I mean, deserve just, to be punished. I just yeah, and that's not for me to decide. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, that that's up to the system. That's up to that's just out of our hands. The punishment is never my decision. I know. For a reason. That's the way the system. I know. You know there's checks and balances. You can't do this. Yeah, it's not then. fair for me to make that choice. It's not fair for me. We, you know. I'm sorry I ended up this way. You know, I was, back in my mind, I, I always thought it was headed this direction, but I had a little hope that maybe it wasn't, mm -hmm. you know. It's been a pretty upsetting week. It's, you know, mm -hmm. even though it's not our child, it's, it's hard enough to, this, mm -hmm. this, is, this is an emotional roller coaster for everybody involved, um, you know. So again, no hard feelings. And I'm gonna get your paperwork done and, and you know, we'll, we'll get you out to the jail, okay? How long would that take? Shouldn't take more than uh, a van comes and picks you up to drive you. Um, probably 20 minutes or so, I would guess. In the next 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so while you have the time, it's time to, you know, you can enjoy your snack as best you can. Um, have some water because you know, you'll get to the jail. It's and, and change, it, it doesn't change, but you know, I've been able to accommodate you as fast as I, I can. If you want food, I can get out there, I can get you some food. They'll do it at the jail as well, but you know, they got a lot of other people they're taking care of too, so it's not always as fast, so to speak. So, you know, you're pregnant, they give you special care as well. So, you know, the food here is better than the food there, probably. So. I know. Okay? All right. Do you think I'm a monster? I don't. I don't. I don't think you're a monster. I never have thought you're a monster. But I needed you to say what you did, so I knew you're not a monster. What I said to you was the truth, Sharice. That's how I truly feel. Like I told you in the beginning, we're all parents. I have kids. Every detective you've talked to has at least one or two mm -hmm. kids. We've all been there. We've all been there, and we have a lot more support. We have a lot better situation, and then we get still frustrated. The odds were against you. They really were. And it's, you know. I don't want to go to jail for the if, rest of if, my life. If we could change it, we would. If we could change it, we would. But, you know. All right. I'm going to finish the paperwork and I'll get you out of here, okay? I did not cut this down. I'm trying to use my hand. Yeah, I'll get you soon. <laughs> shaped like an oval. So if you leave like the backs of your hands together, you just got small wrists. Yeah, they're plenty. They're plenty loose to hold the backs of your hands. If you turn your hands like that, that's when they get tight because they're like an oval. Teresa eventually changed her story with police and told them that she had struck Jordan, causing him to hit his head on the wall, resulting in him having a seizure. She said that he died a few hours later. It was determined by a medical examiner that Jordan's cause of death was blunt force trauma. Teresa fabricated a story to cover up what she had done. 
and gave herself injuries to make her original abduction story more believable. In the end, the truth, or at least most of it, came out. She was charged with first-degree murder and was likely facing a life sentence. And in October of 2020, Cherise Stinson pleaded guilty to second-degree murder as part of a plea deal, and she was sentenced to 50 years in prison. She is currently serving her time at Lowell Correctional Institution in Ocala, Florida. She is scheduled to be released in July of 2067. She will be in her 70s. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.